Okay, this is a live bearer that I first had in the early 70s. I raised it, the Xenotaka Isony, recently been split into four species based upon geography. Uh, we have uh, also have Xenotaka uh, Rio Tamazula, which has been uh, reclassified as Xenotaka lionsi. Uh, this is uh, no collection information on this, so this is an aquarium strain. Uh, these are split fin live bearers, uh, gadids from the central plateau of Mexico. Uh, there are quite a few species of these. That's a male. Here's a female, gravid. Another female, a little bit more gravid. They have large fry, and unlike the Pasiliidae live bearers, the females actually uh, don't just retain the eggs and the eggs who live off the yolk, the females actually provide some nutrition. Uh, so more like mammals in that respect. Uh, small breeding colony we saved from the, uh, the winter storm and its aftermath. Uh, our Xenotaka Isony Rio Tomazula or Lanzi are doing a lot better, but these guys are recovering. I'm going to add, I've got another small breeding colony. I'm just going to add these to that breeding colony. Uh, our live bearers took a huge hit and are slow recovering. Uh, combination of winter storm. Uh, you would expect the Gadeids to be a little bit more cold tolerant than, than a lot of the Basiliidae because they are uh, on a high plateau in Mexico. It gets very, fairly cool but they took a big hit too. We lost uh, quite a few. Okay, good fish keeping.